Hi, this is Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching the unboxing and review of Geoni eLife eFi. Here is the box pack, the eLife eFi from Geoni. It uh, sports a 4.8 inch AMOLED screen with 1.5 GHz CPU, DTS sound. You also get a free flip cover. 20,000 is the MRP price. And here are the SA value. You can get it for uh, approximately 18,999. The specifications as mentioned on the box supports 3G, comes with a single SIM micro SIM slot, 4.8 inch AMOLED screen, 6.85 mm thickness, 2G, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, 8MP rear autofocus camera with LED flash, there is a front camera of 5MP resolution, Full HD video recording and playback supported. Runs on the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean OS, quad core 1.5 GHz. It's from the MediaTek MT6589T processor, it's a double processor. 1 GB RAM, 16 GB internal storage. There is no external storage support. GPS uh, and uh, the battery is of 2000 mAh capacity. Let's start the unboxing process. Here is the handset. We'll have a look at this uh, later. Inside the box, you will find the flip cover. The flip cover is of a good quality, you just need to clip in the handset and uh, here is the closer view of the texture on the flip cover. Inside the box you will also find the screen guard, in fact I found two screen guards uh, but I think uh, the box pad will come with only one. The Geoni India custom service center list and uh, the Geoni card, user guide eLife if I use a guide and the warranty card USB to micro USB cable power adapter with the USB port and a nice looking earphone here is a closer view of the call button and the mic pretty slim and uh, here is a closer view of the ear plug this is of a premium quality and uh, here is the pin the eLife E5 is currently priced at Rs 18,999. The price is high but once you look at the handset it is pretty much worth it. Here is the front view, the side view as you can see it's pretty slim and the rear view. The rear side is white color, matte finish. The build quality is excellent. The battery is built in, there is no option to open up this handset. It's completely sealed. On the rear side the speaker out, DTS sound logo, the Geoni logo in the center and uh, the 8 MP rear autofocus camera with uh, LED flash and the mic. There is the 3.5 mm audio jack as you can see here on the top and on the right side there is the micro USB port and below the micro USB port is the micro SIM slot. You need a micro SIM on this handset. This is a single SIM handset. The power lock button and uh, the volume rockers are present on the left side as you can see here on the front facing bottom there is the mic and uh, the three touch sensitive backlit buttons on the top the the sensors in call speaker and the 5 mp front camera let's check out the weight this handset uh, is 133 grams with built-in battery the Thickness is 7.27 mm, the breadth is 69.98 uh, mm and the length is 137.95. I am now going to insert the micro SIM card, just push it in and that should do. Let's uh, power on this device now, it runs on the Jelly Bean 4.2.1 OS. What you see here is the Geoni logo. Followed by some animation. And uh, here is the home screen. Let's check out the response, the touch response, which is smooth and responsive. And as you can see, the icons are different. It's customized OS. Let's go to the settings option and uh, go to the about phone and as you can see the model number is uh, EFI and the Android version 4.2.1 and uh, now I'm going to switch off the battery saving option. 
in the settings option you can see there is a common settings and the all settings option there is also the system updates that is the OTA over the air updates from Geony the viewing angle is pretty good you can clearly see the icons and the fonts from uh, different angles the 4.8 inch screen is with AMOLED display Wi-Fi hotspot USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported there is also the Wi-Fi direct option GPS settings EPO and AGPS supported of the 16 GB storage 2.78 is assigned for apps and the 10.56 for phone storage we'll check it out here you can see the internal storage is 2.8 GB free this is the phone storage 11 GB free and uh, of the 1 GB RAM you get around uh, 579 MB free the NQ mobile security app comes pre-installed the backlit uh, button system information ARMV Cortex A7 quad core with uh, PowerVR SGX 544MP MT6589 turbo processor clocked at 1.5 GHz and the screen resolution is 1280 by 720 pixels the battery looks good at 96 percent and the temperature is 33 degrees here are the sensors accelerometer proximity light gyro and magnetic sensors all of these are working the device doesn't come pre-routed as you can see here and uh, here is the weather app with animation and if you look uh, closely it is a full screen animation here is the phone dialer and when you punch in the numbers you actually see the video call option without the numbers the option is missing I'm going to switch off the power saving mode because that could impact the benchmark scores and uh, before I run the benchmark tools uh, let's check out the battery level and the temperature the battery level is 93 percent and the temperature is 33 degrees the quadrant benchmark score is 4871 antitude score is 16331 Vilamo HTML5 1632 Metal 579 Nina Mark 2 55.1 FPS eLife E5 handset supports 5 point multi-touch OTG is not supported you cannot connect external pen drive I've loaded my website and the rendering looks pretty smooth I've used couple of benchmark tools and now let's check out the battery it's 89% uh, and the temperature is 33 degrees the rear side is a little warm I am out in the open and will try the GPS option. I have switched on the GPS, enabled the EPO and the AGPS settings. 3G is on and the time is 9.7 pm. GPS is now searching for satellites and as you can see I got a lock well within 5 seconds. This is really good. I am going to try the magnetic option and uh, as you can see the map should rotate it's using the compass mode and as you can see the map is rotating and now let's check out the camera the rear camera is of 8 megapixel resolution it's out of focus and you can also touch to focus the interface again is a little different it's customized you can see so many options here on the left side here are the capture mode you even have the panorama option the camera action gesture shot flash mode the color effect and here is the phone booth this is what it does there are different frame options just choose the frame and uh, shoot the subject and the last option is the settings uh, we'll check the picture size it's 8 megapixel let's check out the front camera the front camera is of uh, 5 megapixel resolution let's move on to the video mode the settings on the left side uh, there is the flash mode white balance color effects and the camera settings there is the focus mode microphone 
I'm going to start the video recording and uh, we'll check this video in MX player here is the MX player with the recorded video going to the properties and uh, the video was recorded in 1080p at 15 frames per second I'm going to try the recording option again I'm going to settings and changing the video quality from fine to high I will start the recording again and I will check this uh, video in MX player here is the MX player with the loaded video going to tools properties it recorded the video in 720p resolution again at 15 frames per second the Geony eLife E5 sports a 4.8 inch AMOLED screen with HD resolution it runs on the Jelly Bean 4.2 OS with 1GB RAM and 16GB internal storage there is 8MP rear autofocus camera with LED flash and a front 5 megapixel camera with uh, video call support this handset comes with a non-removable battery of 2000mAh capacity. The handset is priced at Rs 18,999. The build quality and the finishing is excellent. The handset is slim and lightweight. This is a single SIM handset and the sound quality is really good. There is 16GB onboard storage space and uh, there is no microSD card slot. For the price, this is a very good buy. In fact, it's a much better option than the Micromax Canvas 4. And now, let's have a look at the flip cover that came free with this handset. The flip cover actually spoils the look. As you can see, there is too much gap on the sides. The flip cover really doesn't go well with this handset. For full review, sample images and videos, visit my website, kogi.in. Thank you for watching this video.